was she, of course, found fame in the Spice Girls. Now, 30 years on almost, Jenny Halliwell is now a writer. She's releasing her new book. It's called Rosie Frost and the Falcon Queen. And our Mark caught up with her at the Tower of London. Congratulations, Rosie Frost and the Falcon Queen being launched in mere moments. You've got a book launch in here. Yes. You have, you've closed down the Tower of London, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, well, I thought it was deserving. Um, Rosie Frost, she really, it's a modern day adventure, but it leans into the history of Anne Boleyn. So when Anne Boleyn was arrested mm -hmm. and um, she was put on trial for treason, yeah. she was put in that tower. I thought, well, actually, Perhaps it's fitting, uh, poignant to come back here. Let's launch this book here. And also, I felt like it was almost girl power at the Tower yes. because I've invited amazing you know, women that from all different walks of life. We've got nurses, teachers, writers, actors that are game changers, sure. that are really inspiring. And you poured your heart and soul into this. This is nine years in the making, isn't it? Yes, the time it from pen to out there, it's nine years. I started, it actually took me seven probably to write. She is a, a, a kind of new modern day hero. That's how you she want to is. look at it, isn't yes. it? Yes, yeah. I felt like that the world needs a new hero, someone sure. ordinary, someone mm -hmm. vulnerable. Mm -hmm. That's a good role model that sometimes we have to, to see it to be it. It's, it's finding the courage you never knew you had. Do you feel semi kind of autobiographical this? Because you, you, I was really sad when I heard about how you found out you lost your dad. It's, it's really, yeah, it was hard. Mm -hmm. and I was in class and I got pulled out of class and told that what had happened to my dad. I found myself write, writing that in Rosie. And so I wrote that, that chapter and I went, oh my God, I've put myself yeah. into it. Lots of topics in the book, bullying, conservation, girl power. Anne Boleyn, when she knew she was gonna get her head chopped off, mm -hmm. okay, she wrote four rules in a book and gave it to her daughter, right. Queen Elizabeth I. 500 years later, Rosie Frost is given these four rules. Yeah. Do you want to know the four rules? With that question, I'm going to uh, yeah. do my first ever tattoo with the four rules on, maybe. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> <Go on. laughs> the first one is have courage. Yeah. OK, take a chance. Yeah. Second one is united we stand. Yeah. We, we're in this together. Mm -hmm. The third one is never give up. And the fourth one is definitely you. OK, right, go on. <laughs> it's, it's Shakespeare. It's to thine own self be true. Okay. If you like or not these rules, make up your own whether it's in fashion, <laughs> yourself, whatever no. it is, just be yourself. It's yeah, modern. modern. And there's music. I know, are we seeing a return to music? But I've always loved music. It's something that I've always felt passionate about. You know, I know I'm not Mariah Carey. I just love the power of words. There's rap in there. Did you rap? <laughs> That's not me. I got someone else to do that. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> I'm not that yeah, cool. I've got to say, I need to ask you, do you get your kids to help when you're writing? Bluebell, she gave me a couple of jokes that are in there. Um, and then my stepdaughter, she named the little cat. My husband, yeah. right, and we know our partners are our worst critics, uh, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. I said, oh, would you read it? And he goes, wait till it's published, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then, so finally, I give it to him. Yeah. And he went, it's much better than I thought it was. <sighs> Christine and Bluebell, they went to the Beckham premiere. Yes. The, have you watched the Beckham documentary? I've, saw, I've seen the first one. Seen it was this? really good, yeah. really good. And I was yeah. really proud that they went. Yes. You know, I thought, represent, yeah, support. Totally. Well, I was in the States, so... Would you, ever, would you ever consider doing anything like that? You yeah. can never say no. I did a documentary a long time ago, but I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? If you want to be my lover, you got to get with my friend. But it's nearly 30 years since yeah. the Spice Girls. Do you think there's a chance we'll see a reunion? Do you think it's Do you know what? I always give 100% to anything I do, yeah. and I always love being with the Spice Girls. They're so much fun and gorgeous. Um, at the moment, you know, my focus is Rosie. I love the fact that 26 years ago, you kissed Prince Charles on the cheek, and now you stand alongside <laughs> King Charles. I really love what, you know, he stands for, the whole royal family stand for. I think they're good role models and they really work hard. And to be part of the Royal Commonwealth for, the, for literacy, it feels like a real honour to be able to support in any way I can. If you want to be my lover. Fascinating discussion with Jerry there. That was lovely. Thank you, Mark, for doing that for us.